AZ104 or AZ104, also known as Microsoft Azure Administrator, is unarguably one of the most demanded certificate in Microsoft Azure stack. A certificate that gives a solid testimony of your skills in Azure and really shines up in your resume and lifts your cloud career to a new height. So why are we talking about AZ104 today? Well, for the simple fact that on 28th July 2023, Microsoft rolled out some major changes to the exam. And if you are planning to take this exam, you absolutely need to watch this super important video all the way through. No skipping, watch the full video. You don't want to miss any important point on this exam. And before I move ahead, I would like to thanks Jayadeep Gaikwad for suggesting this video. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In this video, I will take you through all the changes that have come in AZ104 syllabus and then we will also understand how does this impact you in case you are preparing for AZ104 or maybe you have already scheduled the exam in the coming days. Post that, I will briefly touch upon should you continue with your already scheduled exam or maybe you should consider rescheduling the exam. And finally, a few tips on how you can prepare for AZ104. And to understand these changes better, I have come to the Microsoft official documentation on exam AZ104. Here you can read on the top the candidate profile who should give or who should attend AZ104. We will come back to this candidate profile in just a little while. But for now, I want your full attention on this important declaration which says that the English version of this exam was updated on July 28th, 2023. And then you can review the study guide linked in the tip box section. Where is the tip box? It's here. So if you go to this link here which says review the AZ104 study guide, you will understand and you can compare both the syllabus prior to 28th July and post 28th July. So let's check out the changes. So let me click this link and then we will reach to this link here or this website here which says study guide for AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator and when you scroll on this document you will find these two useful links. The first of which says review the skills measured as of 28th July 2023. So what does this link gives you the information on? So this list represents the skills measured after the date provided that is 28th July. Study the list if you plan to take the exam after the date and if you want to compare the course content prior to 28th July then you have to come to this link. So let me open both of these links for you. So here it goes the first one and then we have the second one. So when you reach to this first link which is the skills measured as of 28th July 2023. So here you can read and understand all the changes that have come post 28th July and then you can also compare all these changes with all the course content that was existing and there is one more important link my friend I want to show you which is this one which says the change log. So when you click on this link you will reach to this documentation and here it's a summarized table which will tell you which of the sections are changed. Are the changes major, minor, no change or whatever is changed. For example the percentage of exam which is basically what percentage of questions should you expect from this section. Now friends flipping back and forth between these links can be a real hassle. So what I have done is to make the things simpler for all of us is to put all these changes into a powerpoint presentation. This way it's a breeze for you to grasp and also for me to present. But do not worry all the links to all this original Microsoft documentation is right there in the description box in case you want a deep dive into the details. But for now let's jump to the presentation. So let's start understanding all the changes that have come up in AZ104. On the left hand side you see all the changes prior to the July 28th and then on the right hand side you see all the changes as of July 28th or post July 28th. And to begin with you can see that earlier we had five categories of skills measured. We still have five categories. Let's read through all the categories. So first one we have manage Azure identities and governance exactly the same in the new syllabus as well. However, the percentage has increased a little bit. Then on the number two we have implement and manage storage. This is exactly the same. The percentage is also exactly the same. Third, we have deploy and manage Azure compute resources. 
20 to 25 percent in old syllabus keeping the same exactly in the new syllabus as well number fourth we have configure and manage virtual networking which earlier was 20 to 25 percent and now we have 15 to 20 percent also notice a small change here earlier it used to say configure and manage and now it is saying implement and manage so do you see the subtle difference here earlier microsoft was just saying that you have to configure but now microsoft expects you as an azure administrator that you can also be able to implement and manage virtual networking moving on with the fifth skills measure we have monitor and manage azure resources 10 to 15 percent exactly the same in the new syllabus as well now let's check out the change log remember the change log link that i showed you in the previous section this is the change log here in the first column you see all the changes prior to the july 28th and then we have the post changes and also in the third column you can observe the gravity of the change whether it's a minor change major change or maybe there is no change you can also observe the percentage whether it's increased or decreased so what i have done is i will quickly highlight the sections in which we have changes so here it comes starting with audience profile then we have manage azure identities and governance manage azure ad objects manage access control manage azure subscription and governance and then we have configure access to the storage coming up next is manage data in azure storage account configure azure files and azure blob storage and then we have automate deployments of resources by using templates create and configure virtual machines create and configure containers create and configure azure app services and then we have configure and manage virtual networking here you can observe that we have a decrease in the percentage of the section followed by configure virtual network and then we have configure secure access to the virtual networks followed by configure load balancing monitor virtual networking is the next section which is actually deleted so please note that and then we have the second last change which is coming up in monitor resource by using Azure Monitor and lastly implement backup and recovery. So let's understand all these changes in a little bit more detail section by section starting with the audience profile section. So this is the old audience profile and now you can observe in these blue letters the new section that has been added in the audience profile. Let's read it very quickly. It says in addition professionals in this role should have experience using PowerShell Azure command line interface, the Azure portal, the Azure resource manager templates and Microsoft Azure Active Directory which is a part of Microsoft Intra. Now let me take you to the first skills measured it is here which is manage Azure identities and governance for which the percentage has been increased and you can notice all the new sections here. So the first subsection which is manage Azure AD users and groups in this section we can see that we have now manage external users and configure self-service passwords and resets and of course these sections were not present in the earlier or old syllabus. Then in the next subsection which is manage access to the Azure resources now we have manage build in Azure roles and then we have assigned roles at different scopes. Let's jump on to the next subsection in the same manage Azure identities and governance here you can see we have implement and manage Azure policy and then we have manage cost by using alerts budgets and Azure advisor recommendation quickly jumping to the next skills measured which is implement and manage storage here in this subsection you can see that now we have configured Azure storage firewalls and Azure virtual networks then we have create and use shared access signature tokens and lastly in this subsection we have configure identity base access for Azure files. Moving on to the next subsection here we have create and configure storage accounts followed by configure Azure storage redundancy and then on the point D we have configure storage account encryption. So friends you can take the screenshots of these screens or maybe you can rewind the videos to understand these changes better. So once again I'm repeating all the changes the new changes are in these blue letters. Let's move on in the same skills measured we have this subsection which is configure Azure files and Azure blob storage. I will not read through all the changes I will quickly traverse through all the slides maybe you can take the screenshot as I just mentioned so let's move on to the next skills measure which is deploy and manage Azure compute resources and you can see there is a lot of change coming in this section both the subsection are completely revamped so I would say a major change is coming in this skills measure moving on with the second subsection under the same skills measure which is provision and manage containers in the Azure portal and then we have create and configure Azure apps 
services lot of changes in these subsections as well now let's quickly jump to another skills measure which is implement and manage virtual networking here you can see a decrease in the percentage and the changes coming are configure public ip addresses troubleshoot network connectivity and then i will quickly read it says create and configure network security groups and application security groups it's a very small change here so earlier we used to have this acronym which is asg but now this has been removed but all together network security groups and application security groups a very important section for az104 exam we also have changes in evaluate effective security rules in nsg configure service endpoints and then we have configure private endpoints for azure pass services Moving on to the second subsection of the same skills measured, we have changes coming up in configure Azure DNS and then you can also observe the entire subsection is now being removed. And now we have the last skills measured which is monitor and maintain Azure resources which is 10 to 15% and you can observe the changes both in monitor resources in Azure and then implement backup and recovery. So now my friends, let's understand what is the impact of these changes on you. And friends, as I see these changes by now, I am sure that like me you have also understood that these are not minor changes or cosmetic changes these are big major changes in az104 and that's why without a single doubt i can say the impact is big and this brings us to the next important question and that is should you reschedule the exam well on this i would like to say that if you have recently scheduled the exam but your preparations are based on the old syllabus I would strongly recommend you to reschedule the exam. Postpone it for some time, adjust your learning as per the new syllabus. I mean, do I need to say there will be a whole array of new questions that you can expect in this AZ104 exam. And trust me friends, this is not an easy exam. AZ104 is fairly hard exam and surely it deserves some respect. And now let's understand how can you prepare for AZ104. And obviously the first and foremost resource that you just cannot skip is Microsoft Azure Learn. And this is really Really great source of information and undoubtedly the most updated one and friends there is a really great video on Microsoft website this one and this video will introduce you to the certification journey and the skills measure that are required to earn the Azure administrator certification and as always links to all the documentation along with this video link is right there in the description box and friends once you have gone through the Microsoft documentation and through with the Microsoft learn then you can go through this video here. In this video, I have taken 190 questions with answers on AZ104. And friends, this video is not just about the questions. It gives you a feeling of the exam, the structure of the questions that come in the real exam, tips and tricks, documentation. So it really helps you overcome the anxiety of the real exam. But to be really honest with you, my friends, this video is based on the old syllabus, but you can still watch this video for the relevant sections. And meanwhile, I'm working on the new questions on AZ104. And the second video that you can refer on AZ104 is this one, six case studies. And I'm sure that you are aware of the fact that case study kind of questions are integral part of AZ104. And this is one area where most of the people stumble upon due to the lack of preparations and the knowledge it really comes as a shock in the exam and you have nothing in your arsenal to deal with it so a must watch video for everyone who is preparing for az104 and friends at the last i can just say that i will also go through the course content of az104 i suggest you that you also do the same any doubts share it with me in the comment section best of luck for your exam and folks if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you are updated with all the relevant and the most updated information on Azure, AWS and GCP. Also, feel free to share this video with all your buddies who are preparing for AZ104. That's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.